Reliance Industries is investing 75,000 crore rupees in its new business focused on clean energy, which includes solar and green hydrogen. So the big buzzword has been green hydrogen here. Did you know that apart from green, the other types of hydrogen is grey and blue? But first, let me give you a primer on hydrogen. How is it produced? Why is it in focus? And what is the demand and costs involved? Well, there are no natural hydrogen deposits in Earth. It has to be extracted from other compounds by a chemical process. Hydrogen is produced using fossil fuels and also via natural gas. It is used in petroleum, refinery, aerospace applications and manufacturing of chemicals, steel and ammonia fertilizers. So now let's talk about the big word, green hydrogen. Now hydrogen can also be produced by the electrolysis of water that is using an electric current to break water that is H2O into its component elements of hydrogen and oxygen. If this electric current is produced by a renewable source that is solar or a wind turbine, the clean hydrogen component is produced and this is known as green hydrogen. Now why so much push for this? Of course, climate crisis is the big reason. Demand for industrial hydrogen has increased from less than 20 metric tons in 1975 to over 70 metric tons in 2018 according to the IEA. Hydrogen is mostly produced via fossil fuels with 6% of global natural gas and 2% of global coal going to hydrogen production. IEA data further reveals that production of hydrogen is responsible for carbon dioxide emissions of around 830 million tons per year that is equivalent to the combined CO2 emissions of the UK and Indonesia. Now what would lead to this transition from grey and blue to green hydrogen? Well, fuel costs are the largest cost component. According to the reports, this is anywhere between 45 and 75 percent of the production cost. Low gas prices in the Middle East, Russia and North America give rise to some of the lowest hydrogen production costs. But gas importers like Japan, Korea, China and India have to contend with higher gas import prices and that makes for higher hydrogen production costs. Philip Capital in its notes suggests that cost of grey and blue hydrogen is expected to rise by 82 percent and 59 percent by 2040 respectively due to higher fuel costs. On the flip side, green hydrogen hydrogen could cost just below $2 per kilogram by 2050 versus $10 currently. So the cost savings will lead to higher demand in future for green hydrogen. Push for green hydrogen is coming in to manufacture more hydrogen fuel cells which are pollution free and have greater efficiency than traditional combustion technology. They are used in devices that use batteries, backup for remote power applications and are also used by NASA for its space program. Hydrogen is preferred because it has long duration energy and storage capabilities which complements to solar and wind energies as well.